What's up everybody? Welcome to episode three of the SMTP programming series. In this video, we're gonna outline briefly what a single day of SMTP Compete and SMTP 60 look like. And then we're gonna explain how we program our CrossFit, monostructural intervals, accessory work, and skill development pieces. On SMTP Compete, we structure the program around five week strength progressions with a six week back off. SMTP 60 has six days of training a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, Saturday are full training days. Thursday is an optional low impact conditioning day where we focus on zone two or machine intervals. And Sunday is full rest. We also offer an optional swimming workout on Thursdays. On SMTP Compete, a single day contains typically four pieces, on the occasion, five. We'll start with the lifting or strength piece, then we'll hit our first workout. After that, we'll have a second workout or a monostructural interval, and then we'll have accessory, skill, or technique work. On our five-week strength progressions, our days contain four pieces or five sometimes. And on our back off or deload weeks, we have two to three pieces a day. On SMTP Compete, we try to touch every core movement pattern and as many variations as we can every two to three weeks. With the higher volume of training that we're performing here, we're able to touch more things more frequently. On SMTP 60, we also structure our training in five week strength progressions with a six week back off. We train six days a week similarly to Compete where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are full days, Friday, Saturday are full days, and Thursday is an optional machine piece or swimming piece. Sunday is full rest. On SMTP 60, on your lifting days, you're gonna have two pieces. You're gonna have your strength progression or lifting session, and then you're gonna have your workout. That's gonna happen three times a week. The other two days, you're just gonna have one workout, sometimes a chipper, sometimes a longer EMOM, something to take up a lot of that hour so we get you training at the frequency and the time that we need you to. On SMTP 60, we experience a really broad range of variants and we try to touch most core movement patterns and variations every three to four weeks. With the decreased training volume or a more standard training volume, it's hard to hit every movement pattern or variation as frequently as we can and compete, but the magic of CrossFit is in transfer of skill and the adaptation that you experience through constantly varied functional movement. Here at SMTP 60, when programming CrossFit workouts, monostructural intervals, accessory, and skill pieces, we program two weeks at a time with a couple things in mind. First, we take into consideration where you're at in respect with the CrossFit Open. Here at SMTP 60, when programming CrossFit workouts, monostructural intervals, accessory, and skill development pieces, we program two weeks at a time with a few things in mind. First, we take into consideration where we are at in the year with respect to the CrossFit Open and the CrossFit Games season. As mentioned in our first video, this will determine what workout formats, movement pairings, and patterns we place more of an emphasis on. Second, we look at the previous two weeks and write out all the movement patterns, variations, implements, formats, and modalities that are missing from that two-week block and we make it a point to include them in the current one. We then begin outlining this two week period with core movement patterns that work in conjunction with the five week lifting progressions that are already written out. When thinking core movement patterns, a few examples are squat, upper body pulls, trunk flexion, hinge, clean, snatch, weightlifting overhead pressing, gymnastic overhead pressing, etc. Then we look at the variations of these patterns that we haven't touched in the previous two week block and we look to include them here. For example, if we performed barbell thrusters in the previous week, we will look to change that to a wall ball shot or even a dumbbell squat clean thruster in the current week that we're programming for. This allows us to touch core movement patterns weekly while implementing uncommon variations regularly to capitalize on true CrossFit methodology's efficacy, which lies in the transfer of skill and increased adaptations experienced through constantly varied functional movement. We program our monostructural intervals similarly, and we program our skill development in conjunction with workouts that contain said skill. Our accessory work follows the same structure of programming with an emphasis on the shoulder joint, the hip joint, posterior trunk strength, and anterior trunk strength. In our next video, we're gonna cover workout formats, time domains, load variations, redundant movement and modality pairings, complementary movement and modality pairings, 
rep schemes, and the detailed minutia involved in writing each specific workout. See you guys in the next video.